Right everyone, something a bit different this week because we are going to go into The Sims 4 and try to create EastEnders characters from there with their character traits and everything. So we're going to move everyone into here and then we got to create some characters. So if we're going to create a family, let's start with an elder. Ah, speaky new. <laughs> I'm going to do the Mitchells. Um, let's start with Phil Mitchell, who is an elder. He's quite elderly now. So we've got to get his character traits, what he wants from life. Here we go. Deviant, and he wants to be a criminal because that's what Phil does. He's hot headed. I would say he's hot headed. Does he like dogs? No. Um, a bit slobbish. Oh, he's a glutton. He likes his food. And also, the last thing is. Should we say family orientated? Is Phil happiest when he's around his family? Or an insider? Materialistic, he likes a bit of money, doesn't he? <laughs> Alright, let's go in straight away with Phil. Because we know the main thing about Phil is that he is bold. So hair's off straight away. <laughs> he looks like the um Catherine Tate character now. Who oh dear, me dear? No oh dear. Right, we'll get rid of the glasses because they're for Ben, not for Phil. <laughs> um right, we need to give him as many wrinkles as we can. So he's got wrinkles. I'm gonna get a photo of Phil up so I can use it as reference. His face is quite round. Um, so we're gonna try and puff out his cheeks. And his actual head shape's round and short. And these need the jowls need to come out a bit more. He still looks too young. I always find that's the most problem in The Sims. Okay, so it's quite narrowy. Eyes are more. No. No. <laughs> I don't think Phil has eyebrows actually. Doesn't look like he has eyebrows. Maybe he has like. that. And we know he's got steely blue eyes like his son Ben. Well, that's steely. A bit grey. Is there hair? Which is like. bold. But not bold. Ah, oh. yes, that's more like Phil. <laughs> it looks a bit like Les actually, <laughs> rather than Phil. Maybe I could do Les and he could be like Christine. Right, let's do some actual detailing here. So he's got the lips are quite similar. He's he's a bit more jowly and saggy, and his eyelids fall down. <laughs> hmm. The nose. It's all in the nose. A bit of stubble. He sometimes has stubble. Let's see if that makes him look more like the feel that we know. Yes, look at that. That's quite good. A bit of a fat neck. Right, we're going to go onto the body. I mean, we are body positive here. I mean, but I mean, how big is Phil? He's getting one a bit. His chest is a bit bigger, isn't it? I wouldn't say he's that big. Got no arse. I mean, that's quite good actually. That sounds like that looks like Phil. Um, accessories. He would have a watch on. I don't think he would wear that. He wears shirts normally. Plain shirts. No, he's quite straight. He likes to be manly. Pink. <laughs> he does wear a pink shirt occasionally. Go with that. Nice and neutral, and he likes to wear blue jeans. So blue jeans, one of a bit ah. of stuff. Ah, yes. Those ones, like blue. And his shoes, he would have work shoes, I think. So boots, black boots. Oh. <laughs> so that's Phil Mitchell. I think that's quite good. Right, so we need to make Sharon now. He's not going to be an elder because she's too youthful looking. And the type of walk that she needs. Uh -huh. no. oh. It's bouncy, I think, is what she wants. And she's got quite a brash voice, so she's going to be a bit like Phil. Yeah, 
to name her Sharon, and it'll be Sharon Watts, because that's what she's now credited as forevermore. So you need to ask what her aspiration is going to be, and I think it's going to have to be love. She's always trying to find love. She wants to play the field. Yep, she plays the field. And what I'm going to do is make her want to find the one, but also she's going to be uncommitted at the same time. <laughs> because Sharon's a mess. So she's also non-committal, but she also wants to find one. She's going to be materialistic. That she likes money. Rabbit. One thing they have in common. And also, jealous. Quite a jealous girl. Right, so we need to design her. She's quite orange. So we need to do her skin tone. Um, as orange as possible. I need to sort out that hair because that is not what Sharon's like. Sharon is blonde. She's got a big blow dry, big bouncy blow dry. That's what we need. Oh god. Not that one. That's quite Sharon. I don't know if she's blonde. Or... I need to get a reference picture again. So that's the reference picture I'm going to be using. Is that big enough? That's quite big. Yes. Right, so Sharon Watts has. Let's do her face. She's got a lovely little narrow nose. She's got lovely high up cheeks. She's got quite small eyes actually, isn't she? Quite scared. <laughs> right, this is going to be Sharon in grief mode now because she's got no makeup on and she's going to wear a grey hoodie. That looks like her when she's got no eyelashes on. Because she's grief stricken, she's going to be a little bit more saggy. And her eyebrows are going to be cinched up because she's just had her Botox. And she's also had her lips done as well. So they're going in. She's a little bit rounder in the face. She's got a little tiny neck. Now you're meant to be ha unhappy. I'm going to turn her mouth downwards a bit. So she's <laughs> sad, Sharon. And um, we have to find her hoodie now. Her hoodie of grief. It's all grey. Yes! That's it. That's her. So her trousers would she wear with her hoodie? She wears joggers and she, she's depressed. I'm going to give her a big bum. Cinch her a little bit. Because she's still Sharon. That looks like Pat Butcher, that does. I'm not sure if she looks a bit youthful. Okay, no. She can stay youthful. We'll just give her a bit of jam. <laughs> and she can have a beauty spot. Oh, she does actually have one under her nose. It's a shame you can't move it. That would do. It's basically her nose. Right, so that's Sharon. I think she's a bit rounder. And then with these, she's going to be wearing heels because she's still got to keep up appearance that so she's coping. And we're also going to be getting rid of the wedding ring, she's not married anymore, she's at Sharon Watts. If I'll do Louise. We're going to do Louise next time. And we're going to ask her not. Snoozy walk. Oh. What's that? <laughs> Sorry. 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 No, she's snooty. Mm. Um, and all she cares about is being popular. She wants to be a famous, popular celebrity. She's a snob. Oh. She's self absorbed. Oh, <laughs> a bit oh, mean because she's horrible to come back. So then we go in make Louise. She was quite pale, wasn't she? So we got this as the reference picture for Louise. She's got a flat blow dry, not as bouncy as Sharon's. So she's got darker eyebrows because she's a bottle blonde. Baby pink, she's so fashionable. Her face is actually a bit more round than that. She needs makeup. She needs eyeliner. Her eyes is going to be like a smoky 
also she needs some blush again baby pink so what she's wearing in this is a tied up t-shirt oh god put some trousers on that quick okay um, and her trousers are skin tight so we've just got to pick out her shoes now she's probably going to wear sensible trainers she's modern um, and then we're going to add one more Feels some. Gonna get Sarpava Chorg. Yasuna. Unknown. That's not what. Well, that's a bit like Ben. So this is Ben Mitchell. So let's do Max Bowden's Ben because he's everyone's favourite. So he's got dark brown hair. Right. So he's got the same sort of eyes as Phil, a bit deeper. It's quite square. His nose needs to go out a bit. But in there, because he does a little thing with his nose, doesn't he? Genetic thing is actually made quite. <laughs> no. That's Ben when he was straight, before he did his eyebrows. That's in there. We have to find Ben's coat. Where's his famous coat? I know they have one, there's checkered coats on here. I've seen it. I'm just gonna have to do this then because. Where is it? This is so annoying. I'm gonna have to go for that. I think I'm gonna put glasses on him as well. He doesn't always wear glasses, but glasses mean like that's Ben Mitchell. I don't think he would wear that, let's change that to more neutral. I'm going to put a ring on his finger, because he always wears that ring to cover up his pool tattoo. So we'll put that on there as well. I haven't done his attributes. So Ben is family. He's a criminal as well, just like Phil. Hot headed like Phil. Romantic. And erratic. Right, okay. So that is the Mitchell household. Uh, who are you? No, who are you? I need to say that Louise is also Phil's um, father. And that's her brother. I'm gonna put Phil and Sharon as married, even though they're separated. I feel bad about Sharon's outfit actually. I'm gonna give her like. She's over Dennis now, done all that. I'm gonna get her legs out because her legs are like the best thing in the world on Sharon. So she's gonna have super skinny, mini legs. So, and we're also gonna fill her face with makeup now because she's over Dennis. Dennis has died, we've all moved on. She is a what again. And she is having best smoky eyes, biggest eyeliner. <laughs> bit of a neutral lip. Maybe not so neutral. That's better. Right, okay. So we are done with the Mitchells. Look how great they are. But it feels cheekbones. Um, so that's the Mitchell house done. And we just got to build their home. Right, so we've just moved into Albert Square. I'll quickly give you a bit of a tour because I just built what I can of Albert Square. So uh, we've got the Mitchell house here. And then all the other houses like the Slaters, Jack's house, things like that. And then we've got the Bills and Mel's old house over here. All green, of course, because that's what how Mel left it in her will. We've got a little bit of a Bridge Street Market. And then we've also got the Queen Victoria pub and the Square Gardens. Um, and I've, you know, I'm quite new to Sims. I'm new to building. So, you know, this is as good as it gets. So, we've got the Vic, we've got the store cupboard, we've got the going upstairs, we've got the toilets, the catering, and then we've got the Carter's house up here, two flats at the side of the Vic, square gardens, and the Mitchell house is over here. Um, so, since I've been on here, I've also created Pat and Peggy and killed them. 
Um, so they're now going to hopefully come back as ghosts to haunt the square. So that's why Phil's very sad, because I've just killed two people around him. Um, I've also created Mick, who is currently talking to Dev because he's just killed Pat. So they're watching TV, so that's Mick Carter. We've also got Linda, who is in the Carter's bathroom in her little dressing gown. So this is the upstairs of the Vic here, so that's the kitchen. And then we've also got Shirley, who is just waking up from her nap. So there she is. Um, so what we're going to do at the moment is just see how things go. Uh, we're going to wake up Shirley, and we are going to get Sharon to wake up too, because those two have a bit of a feud going on. Oh, Sharon needs me. the toilet. Right, she needs to go to the toilet first, and then she can... Have a go at Shirley. No, yep, so Sunday. let's get Sharon over because they've already got a bit of an argument, so they're going to have uh -huh. a fight. Linda so wants. She wants to woohoo in a bush. <laughs> so where's Mick? Okay, right, he's talking to Death. You can stop talking to Death, stop watching TV, and find a bush. <laughs> Someone's asleep in a bush. We'll have a look at that in a minute. It's alright. Woohoo with Linda in there. Who's in there? Who's having a nap? Not Phil, he's depressed. He wants to watch TV, fertilise in a bush, and blog about his feelings, which isn't very Phil Mitchell like. So I'm just going to get him to wee in this bush over here. Um, fertilise that. I don't know who's asleep in the bush. Is it Ben? Ben is asleep, of course. He's asleep in the bush. So we're going to wake him up because that's not on. See Arthur's bench is here, which is lovely. Um, what can Ben do? I think Ben needs to call Sadness Hotline. <laughs> Plan a social event. We need to get Sharon and Shirley fighting because they need to talk it out. Excuse me. Right. Sharon, have a go at Shirley, please. Where is she? Come on. I want everyone to go to the Vic. Right. So we're all in the Vic. <laughs> Shirley's not dressed yet. Where's Phil? Who's dead? Sharon wanted to witness it because she doesn't want to miss any of the drama. Right, we're going in now. Come on. Shirley's going behind the bar. She's going to fight it out with Sharon. Here we go. Witness this. Fribs of Bima. Why are they now making friends? Alright. going to fight Finn. Yanabi! <laughs> Why are they hugging after they've had a fight? Where's Mick? Mick's currently going to bed in Ben's bedroom, I think. Louise is sad. She needs to send a sad text and buy a dishwasher. <laughs> um, right, we can send a text to someone. Call Sadness Helpline. Where's Ben? I think a little... Ben started a fire and just walked off from it all. Excuse me, Ben! Finish that! Alright, now everyone's come out to the last You need to, one, change your outfit, because that's not very Ben Mitchell. And then two, you need to go have a shower, because you stink. Maybe I need to make Callum, so Ben has something to do. I'm going to make her be mean to her, because she doesn't like the fact that Sharon and Phil are still together.
I'm just gonna leave Phil and Shirley. I'm gonna do it a little bit. In the kitchen. What is she eating? Chicken nuggets. Right, so she wants to woohoo in a bush still, which Mick hasn't done yet. She wants to buy a toy and admire herself in the mirror. So what I'm going to do, she's going to admire herself in the mirror, get herself all prepped, and Mick is going to get off the computer oh. and woohoo in a bush. Can you tell that Sharon um, decorated this house? Because it's all pinks. Pinks and blues. But it was really interesting trying to um, do all these houses. The Slater house, it doesn't make sense at all because we've got Jean's bedroom, we've got the kitchen, we've got the lounge. And then upstairs obviously we've got all these bedrooms, but there's no space. So it was all a bit confusing. And the same with the Vic, doesn't quite make sense. But this is all we've got. So we need to see what Sharon's up to. Sharon wants to hug someone so she can hug her best friend, Linda. Talk about the fight she had with Shirley. Well, Mick is asleep now, instead of woohooing with Linda, so... Well, Ben wants to try and be friendly with Phil. This is very unheard of, so we're going to wake Phil up. And Ben... Going to try and be friends. With his dad. Come on, Ben, we can do it. Who's that at the door? I wonder who he is. Maybe Sharon can have an affair with him. Ben and Phil, finally, talking about their feelings because of the death of Pat and Peggy. Right, so I think I'm going to leave it there for now with Ben and Phil bonding. So um, let me know if you've enjoyed this and if you want to see a bit more from what everyone's up to in the in Albert Square. Shirley's off just to uh, go to bed, I think. So um, let me know if you've enjoyed this and if you want to see anything else. Maybe some other EastEnders characters you want me to make to introduce into the mix. And we'll see what happens.